Hi guys, this is going to be another short video like last time and in this one we are going to be uh, displaying your displaying uh, web displaying websites yeah displaying uh, websites or web pages onto your app so uh, let's have a fresh app.js or you can just like delete some of them and keep some of them because this like var adding creating a uh, Windows is always going to be the same, mostly. Create window, and inside, oops, not pass flood. Inside this, let's change background uh, color to yellow, and var view equals tie.ui.create, uh, create view, nothing inside here, and what we're going to do is going to create a web, or a variable web, and it's going to equal Tie dot UI dot create uh, with view and inside that we are going to say a URL I don't know let's just keep it simple HTTP www.google.com and there we go so all we need to do now is add our web to our view so view dot add uh, not view web and add that to our win so window add view and make sure to window open there so let's save our work and run it in our simulator it's initiating oops i missed that oh ow mm. we've got our iphone and take your time, there we go. Yep, we have our, our Google website over here. Just like when we, if we open it using Safari or I don't know, Opera or Firefox or whatever in our iPhone or Android. And because by default, Google has this like uh, neaty code at the background to check whether you're using like a smartphone or a PC this by default it's going to go into this like cool looking uh, smartphone view so there we have it this was a quick video on displaying uh, web pages on your app and if you tweak around with the settings and stuff you can have this like website on your half the page and you can have like other information or settings or cool stuff uh, at the bottom so there we go